Welcome back to TV5 News at 9, everyone. So, SVRC Marketplace in downtown Saginaw is hosting an empowerment safety series. So, joining us this morning to tell us about it, we have instructor Anna Garcia. So, thanks for being here. How are you? I'm doing well, and you? Very good. We're very excited to uh, check out uh, self-defense skills. Yeah. So, earlier on TV5 Wake Up Today, uh, we had both um, Anna and Michigan Forensics Examiners uh, here to talk about the, the, the class, and you can check out the interview on our website. But Anna's gonna give us a sneak peek into one of her classes. Yeah, so Anna, we are super excited. We've been talking about it like yeah. since we knew we were doing it. <laughs> exactly. So can you tell us, like, how, how, do, how do these classes usually start off? They start off, first I introduce myself, a little bit about my background, mm -hmm. in, and to make them more comfortable. Um, I also tell them, you know, that I myself have been a victim. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't matter how much skill you have or how much you know, anybody, anybody can be a victim at any point in time. And um, what we're doing with the two-hour classes, it's just, it's just to tip the iceberg, just to mm -hmm. give that awareness and that confidence to maybe put something in your skill level that can help you help you out one day if needed. Yeah. So Anna, show us some moves. All we're right. Ready. So. If common, common something somebody does, they come up and grab your wrist, right? Okay. So if you come up and grab my wrist, anybody grab my wrist, right? So pulling hard, everybody wants to pull away, yeah. right? right? They want to pull away, want to get away. You don't want to do that, okay? First thing you want to do is open your hand and you want to step in to the assailant. Mm -hmm. So when you I'm step in, that's wonderful too. So you go here and you step in. When you step oh. in, I'm going to go straight up. Oh. I'm going to, sorry. No, you're take good. Take my hand, I'm going to grab my hand here, I'm going to turn. And boom, elbow Ooh. across, elbow back, and now I have oh. enough to get away. <laughs> love right? it. I just got many hands. So <laughs> I love it. So it's not, it's not like I'm going to stand there and fight. It's enough to get yourself away. And, oh, I, wow. and it's something so easy. But if you haven't done it, it doesn't, it doesn't register that, hey, I can do that. And that it's all about leverage. Um, another common thing would be a choke. Okay. Mm. Right? So if somebody comes up and puts you in a choke, you're against the wall. You can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right here, if you push right here. So if I come in here and all I do is turn my shoulder into it, there is no <laughs> way they can hold on. No way. Right? Because you're pushing right into that sensitive spot. Oh, and they just, my Adam's so it's apple. Just, yeah, just enough to get away. Mm. Right? If they're still there, then you know you can do the obvious grab attack. Yeah. But just enough to break that hold and help you get that confidence and control and your assailant loses that control, which is the thing that most of them are looking for, is mm -hmm. that control level yeah. aspect. So. so tell us, why is self-defense just such an important thing for women to know and to learn? Oh gosh, that, that could take all day to explain, mm -hmm. but um, mainly self-preservation, self-awareness, you know, awareness, self to, to not have to walk on the street and be afraid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you can walk down the street, you can walk out of the grocery store, you could walk out of school at nighttime, you know, anywhere, and, and you have a little bit more confidence and a little bit more safety because unfortunately, like Lindsay said earlier, nine out of ten women, or, or nine out of ten assault victims are women, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And I don't remember the statistic on how many are attacked per minute, but it happens all the time mm -hmm. in our community, and yeah. it needs to be brought to light. Yeah. So we actually get into the building here at like two, three o'clock in the morning, so we have to be kind of vigilant of our surroundings. And I wanted Sierra to get a hand on, you know, doing a okay. move or two because I think Absolutely. being the, the, the woman here, it's important. Okay. So I, I can be, if you want to like tell us so what to do. So you can go ahead and go and grab your wrist. Come here. So, okay. So your first response was right to jerk back, yeah. right? Yeah. You don't want to jerk back. So you want to sit here. Open your hand first. That breaks okay. this hold a little bit of the thumb, oh, yeah. right? Okay. So it loosens just enough. You're going to step forward into him. When you step forward into him, you're going to push, push straight up. Okay. Grab. Take your other hand. Grab your wrist up here. Grab it from across here, right? Oh. Pull his arm down. When you pull it down, your elbow comes across, and then you could reach up and elbow him with it. Either oh, way, yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a good example of whatever works for you. Like right. we had a couple female that in the class that they got out of the situation early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Okay. That's wonderful. You break the hold and you do what works for you. Mm -hmm. We teach them striking points. Okay. Okay. So in that situation when he was grabbing your wrist again, go ahead and have him grab your wrist. Say you can't get away. Like you're here, you're trying to push, can't pull. Use your shoe. I don't want you to step on his shoe and hurt it, but you want to step right into this heel aspect Ooh. right there. And most women, Fake you know, step. wear shoes with heels a little yeah. bit, yeah. and you dig into that, and that breaks Wedges. that hold a little bit, which would now give you the ability to step forward, push straight up, 
and elbow him. Oh, like in the head? Yep. Oh, in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. So, and the, you know, again, common for females for a choke. So, mm -hmm. you know, somebody comes up and chokes you. So go ahead and choke her. Um, it, you panic, right? You panic, you panic. Your back's against the wall. You can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Take this hand up. Use your nails and dig right. Don't actually hit them. Oh, but take the two fingers and push right into there. Ooh. Turn your shoulder into it and push out straight with your hand as hard as you can. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Sorry. No, that's good. That's <laughs> this good. is good stuff. Honestly. So that's what we teach. We teach the basics. We teach enough to give you something to hold on to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to know, hey, I, I learned that before. I can yeah. do something. I can get away. Yeah. I want to bring Lindsay in um, just so we could talk about, you know, attending these classes. Absolutely. Uh, how do we attend these classes? Okay, so we still have five out of the six classes left. Um, they're held at different locations. So our next one is the Saturday SVRC. We have one at the Eastside Soup Kitchen, um, one being held on Saginaw Valley campus, which we're hoping will mostly be for students. Yeah. Um, but on our Facebook page under events or also on my website, um, michiganforensicexaminers.com, there's an event tab and you can register for any class that suits your schedule. Perfect. We also have in our hot links section mm -hmm. too on our yeah. website. And you know what, just doing this hands on, mm -hmm. It's really easy, and I can only imagine how much mm -hmm. you'll learn in a, a, a two-hour two class. Two hours, we I just learned that in 30 seconds. Literally. Yeah. yeah, and it's just things that are simple and you don't even think about. Like, yeah. instinctually, you would pull away, but if you just, the one thing you take away from that class is instead to push forward yeah. instead of pull away, mm -hmm. that could save your life. That could like save it's, your life. Yeah. Very cool. And increase that confidence. I know you said this is yeah, also a part absolutely. of that. Mm -hmm. Cool. I appreciate both of you coming in this morning. This has been very valuable. Love Thank it. you yeah, for having thanks us. For having us. Yeah. And of course, you can find more information going to the hotlink section on WNEM.com.